everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. I was about to go to my gym in my garage, work out, and lo and behold, it's not just raining, I just heard thunder. This is Los Angeles. This is Redondo Beach. It's a suburb of Los Angeles. Anyway, I'm so excited. It's raining. I'm getting wet. I don't have an umbrella because I love this rain. It's July 2015, and we're getting rain in Los Angeles. Okay. A lot of people have been asking me lately, um, is it really worth it to build a rainwater harvesting system? I used to have a swimming pool underneath here. This used to be a, a, a big swimming pool. I filled it in with tanks and built a rainwater harvesting system. In fact, I have solar power on top of the garage there, and that solar power is getting washed off right now. And then what happens is, I'll, I'll show you what happened. When it comes off the roof of my house and off the roof of the, of the garage here, it actually goes through the pipe and it goes into here. And I'll show you where it comes into the house. Oh, because well, uh, I have a big roof, uh, 2,000 square foot roof uh, on the house. So all this rainwater is falling on the roof. It's going down pipes, uh, drainage pipes. And I'll show you over here, it's actually, you can see right there, it's actually falling off the house. And then we follow that pipe, there it is right there. And that pipe is actually going down, and there's the rainwater. Isn't that amazing? Now all that rainwater is being saved, and that tank is actually going into the rainwater tank. It's underground right there. There is the pump so that I can use it in the future for, I, I can pump the water out of the rainwater harvesting system and it actually goes into this filter right here and then that filter shoots it out to the drip irrigation. Now you can see here a little bit of the drip irrigation right there. Um, I wanted to show you this tank. This Actually, this is the place where I keep the uh, uh, accessibility. This thing was almost empty this morning, and it's filled up with probably, I'd say, at least a thousand gallons of rainwater that I'm able to harvest. I mean, this is just incredible. This pipe right here is for the waterfall I built into this system. I'll show you a little bit about the uh, how I keep the, the water from getting stagnant. I built this waterfall here so that that's where that tube is. It's attached to a pump, and so when I plug this in, it actually turns the water. It keeps it from getting stagnant and getting stinky. I don't have it on right now because I don't have nobody here. Last week we had a party, so I was able to turn that on. Had a lot of enjoyment from it. But I really wanted to show you what a rainwater, harvest, rainwater harvesting system does. Um, we filled this swimming pool in with 5,000 gallons worth of tanks and so we're harvesting the rainwater and I can harvest it and reuse it at a future time. So all this rain that's falling on most people's roofs, it's falling into the street, taking all the jet fuel, bird stuff, flushing it out to the ocean where it's actually polluting the ocean. It's not a good thing. I, I think a much better thing to do would be to create a permeable uh, paving system, um, have the water fall into the earth and then recharge the groundwater. I want to show you too, this is an interesting thing here, on the ground that I, I was going to put concrete between the flagstone, but I decided I was going to do something different. So I used this stuff called FlexiPave that actually, it's ground up passenger tires that have gone bald, and there's a super glue that uh, they get uh, put together with, but it's permeable. So right now, not only am I getting roof off the rain, the, uh, rain off the roof, but I'm also getting it from uh, the water that just falls here is actually falling into the system. It's harvesting it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to harvest rainwater, the cleanest water on the planet, if it's not going into the street and taking motor oil out to the, the ocean. It's one of the big reasons why we need to, as a society, start thinking reduce, reuse, recycle. We need to think about sustainability, which was sustainability is living today without borrowing from tomorrow. We need to become more self-sustainable. These are the ways that we can defy the drought. If everybody starts doing this, 
we can make a difference. This is Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.